If n plus 2 c6 divided by n minus 2 p2 is equals to 11, then n satisfies which of the following equations? So let's first write down n plus 2 c6 upon n minus 2 p2 which is equal to factorial n plus 2 divided by factorial 6 into factorial n plus 2 minus 6 whole divided by factorial n minus 2 upon factorial n minus 2 minus 2 which is equal to factorial n plus 2 upon factorial 6 into factorial n minus 4 divided by factorial n minus 2 upon factorial n minus 4. Now factorial n minus 4 gets cancelled with factorial n minus 4 and we expand factorial n plus 2 to get n plus 2 into n plus 1 into n into n minus 1 into factorial n minus 2 divided by factorial 6 into factorial n minus 2. Now factorial n minus 2 gets cancelled both on the numerator and denominator. So we are left with n plus 2 into n plus 1 into n into n minus 1 divided by factorial 6 which is equal to 11 as given in the question. So multiplying factorial 6 on both sides we get n plus 2 into n plus 1 into n into n minus 1 equal to 11 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Now we can write the right hand side in such a way that it comes out as a factor as a product of 4 factors that is equal to 11 into we take 5 and 2 to get 10 and 3 and 3 from the 6 to get 9 and 4 and 2 from the 6 to get 8. So we can see that n is equals to 9. Now we put the value of n and see which of these equations gets satisfied by this value of n that is n equals to 9. So let's take the first equation that is n square plus n minus 10 uh, minus 110 is equals to 0. So we have the first case n square plus n minus 110 is equals to 9 square plus 9 minus 110 which comes out to be 81 plus 9 minus 110 equals to minus 20 which is not equals to 0. So n is equals to 9 doesn't satisfy this equation. So we take the second case that is n square plus 2n minus 80 which comes out to be 9 square plus 2 into 9 minus 80 which comes out to be 81 plus 18 minus 80 which is equal to minus 19 sorry plus 19 which is not equals to 0. Let's take the third case that is n square plus 3n minus 108 equal to 9 square plus 3 into 9 minus 108 which is equal to 81 plus 27 minus 108 which is equal to 0. So this equation gets satisfied by the value of n which is equal to 9. Now let's take the fourth case that is n square plus 5n minus 84 is equals to 9 square plus 5 into 9 minus 84 which is equal to 81 plus 45 minus 84 which comes out to be 42 which again is not equal to 0. 
So we have the third case that is n square plus 3n minus 108 equal to 0 to be satisfied by the value of n which is n is equals to 9. 